Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday attended the official handover ceremony of the new Defence and National Rehabilitation Centre by the 7th Duke of Westminster to the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Theresa May. The ceremony was held in the presence of His Royal Highness. Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, patron of the appeal to create the new Defence and National Rehabilitation Centre. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince offered congratulations to the United Kingdom Government on the inauguration of the DNRC, noting that the military rehabilitation is one of a number of areas of collaboration between Bahrain and the United Kingdom that underpin the long-standing bilateral ties. His Royal Highness commended the UK government and its armed forces for placing military rehabilitation at the centre of policy efforts, noting the importance of facilities like the DNRC in helping servicemen and women rebuild their lives. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasised that the armed forces personnel play a crucial role in the defence of their country's security and values and deserve the highest standard of medical care and support in their recovery. His Royal Highness paid tribute to the 6th Duke of Westminster, the late Gerald Grosvenor, whose personal contribution to the creation of the new facility will be instrumental to the rehabilitation of servicemen and women injured in the service of their country. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met His Royal Highness Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge. The meeting took place during His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's attendance of the official handover ceremony for the UK's new Defence and National Rehabilitation Centre, which was held at Stanford Hall Estate near Loughborough. His Royal Highness affirmed that the developing bilateral relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom are built on mutual respect and a shared pursuit of safety, stability and prosperity. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of further enhancing military, diplomatic and economic ties which span over 200 years. Following the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, along with His Royal Highness the Duke of Cambridge, the Duke of Westminster, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Theresa May, the Lord Lieutenant of Nottinghamshire, Sir John Peace, and General Sir Tim Granville, Champman, attended a lunch banquet. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today with the Commander of the United States Central Command, U.S. CENTCOM, General Joseph Votel at Rafa Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to further support and strengthen the regional security by working with international allies to address the th shared threats and challenges. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince emphasized 
that the important role played by the United States in preserving regional security, noting in particular the U.S. respect for the internal affairs of sovereign nations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince praised the joint commitment by Bahrain and the U.S. to further strengthen bilateral ties across various areas, in particular the long-standing defense and security relationship, which has been instrumental in the fight against terrorism. The meeting provided an opportunity to review a number of regional and international issues of common interest. The Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, His Excellency Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, was crowned at the Ripon Race Course, which is regarded as one of the well-known horse races. The victory was achieved by rider Jack Mitchell and coach Beckham. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the achievement is the result of the constant support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for horse riding sport which is regarded as sport that represents Bahrain and its history. Sheikh Nasser highlighted the keenness to create a positive atmosphere for the team in order to attain satisfactory results. He went on to note that such a victory solidifies the kingdom's status in the sport and sheds light on Bahrain's achievements in sustainable development in various arenas. His Highness Sheikh Nasser asserted that a continuous effort towards earning first places in different sports, especially horse races, on both the regional and international levels. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday attended the third day of Royal Ascot 2018 in the annual horse racing festival held in Berkshire in the United Kingdom. His Highness offered his best regards on behalf of His Majesty King Hamad to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and extended congratulations to the organizers for hosting another successful edition of the long-standing sporting event. His Highness also highlighted the strong bilateral ties between Bahrain and the United Kingdom and noted both countries shared commitment to preserving the equestrian traditions. Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, deputized the wife of His Highness, Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Khalifa, President of the Board of Trustees of Al Mabarra Al Khalifiya, and President of the Royal Organization for Maritime Rescue and Safety, Her Highness Sheikha Naila bint Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, to attend the Royal University for Women 10th graduation ceremony. Her Highness Sheikha Naila bint Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa presented certificates to 114 graduates in the presence of the RUW Board of Trustees member Walid Azamil and RUW Acting Vice President Dr. Munasuri. Her Highness Sheikh Anayla bint Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa congratulated the students on their graduation, stressing the importance of supporting women's education and empowering them in all social fields. She commended the role of the Royal University for Women for promoting the graduation of female students and encouraging women as key partners in national development. RUW Acting Vice President Dr. Muna Suri had addressed the graduation ceremony, extending thanks to her Royal. Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, for her patronage of the event. The scroll of honor included 58 graduates from the College of Administrative and Financial Studies, 16 from the College of Law, 2 from the ICT College, 31 from the College of Arts and Designs, in addition to 7 MA graduates. The Royal University for Women presented to Her Highness Sheikh Anayla bin Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa an artwork by the art graduate Najla Al Musawi.